Welcome to MASF UFC. young man is preparing to unleash some devastating kicks on his opponent tonight you talk about guys like tiago alves jose aldo jr the kicks on this young man absolutely powerful he can do major damage too just by landing a couple of them you've seen fights of his where he lands one kick to the body or one to that lead leg and you get an immediate welter bruise really as powerful a kicker as we've seen in the ufc in some time this guy has ridiculous hand speed his opponent is going to need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high quoted as saying the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. He is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability and precision as we've ever had in martial arts. Good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk down. This guy has incredible stamina and ridiculous cardio. If his opponent can't slow him down, he is not going to be able to keep up with him. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing at 185 pounds. Fighting at a left bridge on Porto, Canada, Bash. And now introducing his opponent. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! Okay, Kotecki Seth at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, man. We are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we are underway here at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent shoots. Oh, 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 straight right. there by Lee. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice 
century on that attempt. He's trying to pry his way out of this half guard now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Big shot from the bottom. He's in full guard here, and he's landing some nasty strikes. Connects there with the punch. He's posturing up here. Now he's got full guard. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Just missed with the straight left hand. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Outstanding timing in that takedown. Looking to secure a choke. He's looking for a guillotine choke. He's in full guard here. What he needs to do to get the guillotine is first, he's got to throw his arm over the back of his opponent's head. Then he's got to slide his forearm underneath. And he gets his neck free. Wow, that was a close choke. He's working from half guard now. He lands a big shot from the bottom. He postures into place. And he's in full guard. He's in half guard. And now the elbow. Big body punch. He hits him with a hammer fist. He's softening him up with elbows. That hammer fist attempt is blocked. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. He is landing some absolutely nasty elbows. Half guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. 90 seconds now remain in the round. How about that shin? Huge uppercut misses. Oh, spinning back fist. Beautiful right leg kick there. And both guys really throwing with a four. Under a minute to go in the round. Effective punch there by the way. Mancho, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. The kick is there to the body. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Lee. Oh, he missed that kick. Nice leg kick. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Oh, and again, he lands another takedown there, Joe. So really doing a nice job scoring points, and the takedowns are piling up. And he's not telegraphing his shot, and that's why he's been so successful. The opponent can't see it coming. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's in half guard. Posture's up here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So he heads back to the stool after a dominant round. Great round there from Lee. Big knockdown, very important, significant damage. Probably won the round. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen, you can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. I want Brittany Palmer is here, as always. Second round here. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but.
have missed. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Watch the shot, Joe. He's moving into full mount. Hit the skate. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. He's working from full mount. Lee gets caught with that punch. Half guard here. Lands a good shot from the bottom. And he connects there. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's going to try to take the back. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. That strike will count. All right, so he's gone to the well for the takedown several times here tonight, and perhaps another takedown attempt is imminent. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Wow, what a kick. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Ooh, blocks the shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Absolutely. Just misses with the jab. Nice. Straight left to the body. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Big punch from the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Now he's in guard. Excellent posture here. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. Two minutes to go in the round. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Missed the mark. Lee. Oh, oh, he takes yeah. him to the left. He's got him hurt here. Big punches here. The left hook hits home. Man, another takedown. Scoring a lot of points with these. Now the opponent is getting up quickly, but no doubt these takedowns are starting to add up. Now he's in full mount. Yeah, that did hurt. You saw the wince. Now he's in full mount again. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. Half guard. And now it moves into full guard. All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Looks like a tight guillotine here. It looks fairly close. He might get a finish here. That guillotine is... Oh, and this fight's over. This it. fight's over. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. The official decision is in here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by tap out with a guillotine choke. Ah! Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. 
He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned,